a very pleasant good morning to everyone. My name is Claude Sinclair, and I'm a representative of Dr. Julius Garvey. I bring you this message. Today, we bid farewell to the mortal remains of Frank Lloyd, a patriot, guardian, and committed pan Africanist. As a young man, you absorbed the teaching of simple and grand and marvelous of Zion Garvey. And over 70 or more years of dedicated service, he sought to uplift the people of Jamaica through the labor movement and the Universal Negro Improvement Association, serving as its president and as a friend of Liberty Hall at 76 King Street. Death claims the body of a hero, a life when lived, but his spirit rises from the grave to inspire future generations. We will encounter it again and again and again, for it is eternal. As long as there is memory of Frank God, he will be remembered. Goodbye to now, Frank God. We will look for you in the world. Dr. Julius Winston Garvey, second son for first and only international year, Marcus. Thank you. I almost forgot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in our midst a long outstanding friend, Mr. God, an international drummer, a master drummer, help me welcome Bongo Bird. Thank you. Seems to be an old 
one of the trees of the former Victoria Park, which has since been renamed as the St. William Grand Park. Of course, the state change came with some influence from Grandfather. There he sat at the feet of what he called thinkers, and covered very topics including international relations and world politics. He used to tell me that he went to the University of the Marketplace. His education deepened through the complex hours he spent at Liberty Hall, the headquarters of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA. When the Marcus teachings of Marcus Messiah Garvey had a profound effect on his life. This was just the start of a long tenure of the UNIA, which included several years as president of the association. He believed that, as a strong black race, we must recognize our strength and take our rightful and proud place in society. Frank strongly believed that if we, as a country, adopted many of the principles taught by Garvey, then Jamaica would make great headway in the alleviation of many of our social and economic ills. but it was only one facet of his life. History would write several chapters on his active service, service with organizations locally and overseas. Frank was an avid adult educator, working with five members to establish the Retired Teachers Association. He gave self-lessing to improve the literacy of his fellow Jamaicans through his diligent service at Chama. Grandpa served on the crisis Board and was also a founding member of the Wasserman Sports Retired Union, the National Consumers League, and represented this organization in the Bureau of Standards. His hatred for all inequality drove his passionate participation in the labor movement and his association with the Hill Brothers, the People's National Party, and the Trade Union Congress. He's a founding member and secretary of the Friends of Liberty Hall, the group of lifelines who led the rebuilding effort of 76 King Street, which has been in a derelict condition for years. In recognition of his tireless work, the Institute of Jamaica presented him with the Center Medal in 1980. In 1968, Mr. Gordon served on the planning committee with the observer.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Honorable Fortress of Sakura, as she exits the church for paying respect to a stalwart again, a Kabi, I say, Pan Africanist, a man who has done his job and done his job well. Honorable Frank Gordon, by your soul, eternally. Today is a very historical day. Today is a day that I've longed for and I'm happy to be a part of this historical moment. I'm here sitting with a gentleman who is now known worldwide as Frank Garden with the order of distinction that is. Frank Garden goes all the way back to the year 1922 on the 22nd of March when he was born in Love Lane right beside War Theatre in Kingston. The first time he heard about this great man, the Right Honorable Marx Mosiah Garvey, was because Love Lane is just as close to Liberty Yard, just a few steps away. And I guess that's where the sounding of Marcus Garvey came through to Mr. Garvey. I mean, first to my right, we have the Honorable Racy Mattress, President of the UNIA, of course. And we have the legendary Frank Garden, Order of Distinction, of course, myself, Big Stone. Now I'm going to talk to Racy Matches first. Mr. Matches, what are some of your fondest moments? When was the first time you came in contact with Frank Garden, the legend? Well, Frank Garden is a very historical person in Jamaica. And we know that Frank Garden is the Garveyite, the consummate Garveyite. And when I met Mr. Garden down at the shrine of Marcus Garvey, he immediately became my teacher and he would pass on as much information about Mr. Garvey and urged us never to give up the struggle because half of the battle was won when we had emancipation of taking off the chains mm -hmm. but we now had to emancipate our minds and this is what Mr. Gar Gar um, Gordon advocated because Mr. Garvey is the one who had given Bob Marley Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. <laughs> and those words, as you know, is is Mortal. was coined by the right honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Now you mentioned, um, Mr. Matthews, that we used to celebrate Emancipation Day, and since we got independence in 1962, they sort of dropped that from the celebration and started to celebrate. Independence, which is 1962 on. And you told me prior to this that Frank Garden was instrumental in making sure that we get back to celebrating the emancipation of our forefathers. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, well, all the old Gaviites who had championed the cause of the true liberation of the African people, the Afro Caribbean people, as you would fondly call us. Mm -hmm. He said we were not Negroes, we were Afro-Caribbean people. And he was showing us that independence is not as important as emancipation. And we should always advocate to bring back Emancipation Day as a holiday in recognition of the great victory of the African people over the period known as the slave trading period. So Mr. Um, Frank Garden OD at the front of it all was always the one who would urge us as the younger generation that <laughs> when he is weary he wants to know that there's enough of us with the fuel and fire to keep the work going. So we are we are students of the great Frank Garden and we have kept the fire burning. Then, then. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's about time we meet now the man of the moment. The man that you have heard so much about, some of you have read him in your history book because he's part of our historical uh, 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 regime. He, 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 he helped to to, 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 to to frame it, framework it, and and, 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 and and fix it up together and bring it to where it's at today. Mr. Frank Garden, how are you, sir? Thank God for life, sir. I see you're still holding stronger than ever. Oh, yes, thank God, because then you have the spirit. Of God, we're still alive. <laughs> a while ago, we wanted to talk to Frank, right? And Frank was inside eating. And you know, he's not feeling a little well right now in terms of uh, his physical condition where he could just jump up and walk. 
and we tried to assist him. And Frank said, no, we're not going to have none of that. You know, he didn't say that in so many words, but he says, with the spirit of God be flowing through my brain and my mind and my heart and my soul, I can get up and walk. And that he did. We didn't assist Mr. Gordon to sit here. He did so from inside the bedroom all the way out here. Tell us something about Love Lane and Liberty Hall. Well, the, the Liberty Hall was the Kingston Division property. Don't tell you, the Kingston Division had the property known as 67. King Slide Street, Road. King Street, um, 76. 76 no, King Street. No, no, um, I, I don't tell you. This, the, 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 the Liberty Hall property is 76. 74. 74 King Street because it's run from the sea up on that left hand side and the, the property below that was five and a half from the end and about that and the, and the 74, 72, 74 is the Liberty Hall property. Okay, okay. But then it's, it's all the property that run from street to lane, you know. Mm -hmm. So what was it like then as a young boy? And well, I know you I, must I, have heard the I, powerful I, voice of Garvey coming from Liberty Hall. You never hear Garvey's voice because Garvey was away. Oh, he was away at that time? Yes, he was away because he traveled abroad, Costa Rica, Panama, mm -hmm. and various places mm -hmm. looking at the condition of black people. In in Costa Rica right now, today in Costa Rica, there's a large division property owned by the, the UNIA in Costa Rica because they are the black and the color people mix together. But the spirit of God is still strong in Latin America. I went to Havana one time mm -hmm. and still God was still a strong part in Havana because my, grand, my grandmother died in come in 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 in, in, in Cuba. Mm -hmm. And so God we had a strong division here from that because I don't go to you go to Cuba to work, you go to Panama to work. And they go to, to look a living. Okay. And so the struggle continue for black people all over the world. Mm -hmm. Because it should be remember that when the Spanish came to Jamaica, mm -hmm. they were part of the black people, the visional strength. Mm -hmm. Because out of that division in the Roman Catholic St. Benedict, the more church mm -hmm. of what I'm going here. Mm -hmm. It's a Roman Catholic, a early teacher one day was speaking. I said, this this teacher know more about St. Benedict the Moor than we <laughs> know about the black saint that was at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Because they work in the field of education mm -hmm. and the Roman history is different from the British. Oh. The British won't tell you about, about no St. Benedict the Moor. <laughs> the white man's the Nelson and the, rob the robbers and the rubber bandits. Mm -hmm. But the Roman Catholic teach the people mm -hmm. the problem of St. Benedict the Moor and African martyrs. So let me ask you now, um, how was Marcus Garvey's philosophies and ideas accepted back then as a young child? They, I know a lot of people gravitated towards it, but did he get fights like from the hierarchy in terms well, of? Well, there, there was. You always have international hypocrites mm -hmm. who fight against you at all times. International but hypocrites. hypocrites. <laughs> you have to stand your ground and keep your standard very, very high. Mm -hmm. And so, when you read in history, you don't read it only through the Englishman's eyes, but you're looking through real history that can take you back. Like in the case of the people in Manchester who got to spend a year loyalty to them and right today you have one of the biggest garbage frying. 
Mm-hmm. In Jamaica, in Manchester. Yes, South Manchester. South Manchester. Well, that time here, Marvin spent a long time because when he was selling the Black Star Line, mm-hmm. the people down there drove to it and killed a, a, a tremendous building in Manchester. So the office line to send me out when this one was there, whatever the time said, no way, not get nobody. It belongs to Marcus Garvey because his loyalty to the people there, mm-hmm. respect, mm-hmm. to honor and glorify you know, God. The it, name of that district is Resource. Resource, yeah. Resource. That's the name of the district. Yes. So that's where the statue of Marcus yes. Garvey stands today, as yes, it is. In, in is it a complete statue or no, a bust of him? We are bust. Uh, or oh, a bust? Yeah. Okay. okay. But, but he spent a lot of time here because he was grateful for the support the Black Star Line get. From the people, people of Manchester. Manchester. Well, so see, Manchester. there's a lot of history that we Jamaicans have never heard before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that is why we're doing this interview because Mr. Garden is armed with certain information that the rest of the world need to hear this for, the, what you call it? Posterity. For posterity. I'm trying to worry. All right, so, so um, when you actually became active now, involved with the Garvey movements. What were your intentions then? My well, the intention is that in 1934, mm-hmm. a man named Sid William Grant, Sid William Grant, who mm-hmm. was born in Grand Van Hill, in St. Catherine, St. Thomas, no, no, um, in St. Mary. No. Uh, Upper St. Andrew. Upper St. Andrew, and when Saint you go Andrew. through Stony Hill and yeah, go down yeah, the yeah. Temple Hall. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We had it there. And he got in trouble for the most experimenting mm-hmm. when he came to town. Mm-hmm. And so he was arrested and another boy was with him, but the same was trying to send and giving the and messages, mm-hmm. but he got off and then he was able to recruit him into, into the military because of the war effort in 1914-18 war. Mm-hmm. And so he worked way out and he eventually landed store over to the United States. And he was able to, when he arrived there, just in time when Marcus Garvey was just unleashing <laughs> powerhouse. And Lee is powerhouse of knowledge. <laughs> um, I spoke to you, Mr. Garden, just a while ago before we actually came on camera. And I asked you, I said, how did Mr. Garvey manage to amass such a gigantic following? And you said one word to me, and, and, and it hits me. You said, telepathy. Yes, and that is the scientific knowledge and that is the scientific approach of a right honorable marx was like God. because he was the one who was teaching us that the mind is a terrible thing to waste right. and with the mind whatever you the mind think really? it, you it's can so bring so it so into so life so you can bring it into being and i know that 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 with such power and such knowledge they have nothing that mr garvey could not have done see, back in those days you see in those days when garvey started his into South Africa before the Russian Communist Party went to, to South Africa. Mm-hmm. He was able to, to mobilize the spirit of the black man. The shape, the, the man on the sea, he got the message, tele, te, 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 tele, te, 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 the drums. Mm-hmm. We're, we're talking drums at the time. Mm-hmm. And that was carrying the wisdom and the knowledge and the power of the third God. How do you feel about some Jamaicans who are not grateful? Because we are grateful for the teaching of the right hand of the mountains right now. I can speak that for race because when I met Mr. Machos many, many years ago, maybe 19, 20 years ago, Marcus Garvey was on the forefront of his mind. And here we are today, uh, December 21st, a day that they say the world should come to an end. Uh, still talking about the right hand of the mountains like Garvey. And Mr. Racing Machos is here 
with us, what, Mr. Frank Gordon. Reminiscing about such a great man. What is needed is some amount of unity. Mm -hmm. There are those who use conflict to divide and rule. Mm -hmm. Because I have been in the UNIA not as a permanent member. I've been taken over from Deacon Woolly Medin. He overworked himself, starved himself. Very died of mal 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 malnutrition. malnutrition. Okay. But the person is that I continue until the organization was captured by upstart who believe that them can read the book is all. But they have no creative mind. Because Darwinism is one of creation of mind and conscious to develop a oneness. Mr. Gordon, you use the word take over. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why do you use such a phraseology? <laughs> because, because I was I was trapped out of the organization by the power that the, 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 those who have the power and intellectual honesty of the of, of the right gave me a whole jacket and a, and, and, and you know trap me out of the organization. Mm -hmm. So I just move out, give them away, and for the last five years, no annual meeting, no keep, no 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 presentation of documentation. Because what money I got out of the organization remained in it. Julius Garvey sent me, Julius, yes, $500 when Deacon did, and mm -hmm. it was in the bank. I did not draw a penny from his personal use. Mm -hmm. I don't take organization money, I put in. I got chairs from food for the poor, I got things for the, for the organization. Mm -hmm. I tried to build a structure in place. But Again, the power that be, they have the power and the glory. The you, know, you know, as you mentioned that though, Mr. Gordon and Mr. Match is sitting here, I think we need to revamp that organization under the umbrella of the UNIA that you started, that chapter here. Yes. You know what I mean? I name it after you, the Frank Gordon chapter no, of the UNIA. No, no, because no, 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 the UNIA is the UNIA. It's no, no, no. The UNIA is the it's umbrella. A, it's our division. Right. It's our division mm -hmm. head, and the division should retain itself and not imp impose upon somebody, spurious or otherwise. I appreciate what you said. Because you yeah. can. You know, I don't want to personal, personal something. Okay, in other words, what I was trying to say was the fact that Mr. Gardner spent so much years of oh. his life uh, oh, uh, oh, dedicated oh. to a cause that means so much to him. And and that cause, that is the flame, is that flame still burning here? It's burning within you, but is it still alighted in, 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 in the community? It's black people business, you know. Let, let me add this. Mm -hmm. the, the UNIA has a mandate in which when an ancestor has passed on, mm -hmm. a division is named in the honor of that ancestor. Oh, okay. So in Jamaica, we, we, we have the Paul Bogle Memorial Division. Okay. And we have the Marcus Garvey Memorial Division. Legend. Okay, I see what right. you mean. Yes. So it is only after the person has, has passed, passed on oh, okay. that the honor is bestowed upon that, upon yeah, that okay. person. So I'm going to jump in the gun. Naming a division after in, in, in such honor. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Sure. Point yes. well, well taken. Um, so, Mr. Gordon, um, so what do you say to the younger generation now? Um, my people, you know, most of our young boys are not doing well in school. Mr. Gab uh, Mugabe, the president of uh, Zimbabwe, is saying no, that our oh, women are doing well, they're, they're, but our youngsters are not doing so well. We can't allow irritant mm -hmm. of Mugabe to condemn the effort that was made because then what the leadership between Jamaica, Cuba, Mm -hmm. And all those that the, that formed the non-aligned movement and the artists who contribute to the liberation of Southern Africa is more than money can buy. Mm. And so it is wise to let common sense rule us. A lot of things to be done. Mm -hmm. We're going to be slow, but we got to keep the spirit of Marcus Garvey. Moving on, pressing on. And the, the non-aligned movement is vital enough to understand history of its contribution to 
world stability. Mm, but Mr. Gordon, Mr. Garvey, one of his foundation principles was self-reliance. Right, right. And I remember in days gone by when we needed a UNIA flag. You are the only person who was manufacturing <laughs> UNIA flag. Other than that, you buy one that was made in China. So we need to get back to that core of self-reliance, exactly. doing for ourselves and do allow other people or other nations to you do see, for us. What we wanted was to get a firm of black people the in the, 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 to get the round sick and not, not to scare sick on the flag for the children. Because if the white children can have a nice smooth round stick, why can't our workmen, the artists, the, the man who do the, the mitre, mitre board, mm -hmm. and things like that, do something like that. What I've been doing over the last three years, you know, I've been working on a scheme to bring African fundamentalism mm -hmm. that Garvey put for 1920s until market. But I'm looking for the words and a group of people and this race is on him can come look on what we're doing to mm -hmm. see how we can get the correct word together. Mm -hmm. Not there, no, there must be no variation mm -hmm. yes. from the original th thinking of Marcus mm -hmm. Garvey. Mm -hmm. So that we can mm -hmm. ask a firm to sponsor possibly 50,000 or 100,000 of the Afghan fundamentalism mm -hmm. that we can be sold. And those who can buy it, we can get the school children to have it in a small little booklet mm -hmm. to keep the history of self reliance. Yes. Yes. Well, with um, the Minister of Education announcing that. Garvey's philosophy must be taught in school. Yeah, but then African yeah. fundamentalism yeah. should be the precursor to, the, to it right, all. Right, the exactly. So, so because yeah. the rallying cry was African fundamentalism. Right, mm -hmm. so, so, yes. so we have got to see, because they said that the African must be as great as the Church of Rome. It has to develop. The, the African street. must be as great as, as the Church, Church of, of Rome. Rome because <laughs> The most powerful religious domination in the world yes. is the Church of Rome. Yes. And so the African to the fundamentalism to the black youth mm -hmm. should be the basic structure of an faith, hope, and charity in himself, ourselves, going forward. Jamaican, whoever gets an opportunity to view this video, this particular interview that we're having with the Honorable Racing Matches, of course, Mr. Frank Garden. OD, OD should really cherish this moment because here we have a man that have lived for over 91 years who have spent 99 percent of his life other than when he just got out of his mother's womb but 99 percent of his life carrying on the beliefs and the and the philosophies and the opinion of of our leader our saint we should take a note a page out of mr frank Gardner's book frank so so this is the year 2012, we're moving on into the year 2013. Yes. What are your plans for the new year coming up? Well, the year is to see that history of yesterday year. Because there was a time when, in colonial time, you know, mm -hmm. the black woman, when she worked in the government service, she could marry and keep the job. Mm. A black woman who married could not be the, a postmistress. I was to see a singer. So that the, 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 the vultures of Europe come into the colony that they prey on the woman because she don't have a man as a husband. She was a man like Kenneth George Hill, the four H's, Ken Hill, Frank Hill, Arthur Henry, Richard Art, forming independent trade unions, allow black women to be able to marry and you know pan African okay. structure. Yes. Wow. Of, 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 of opium. You know, this is old dy 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 dynamism yes. of the survival of the black woman. And so if I'm alive next year, I would love to start a K 
campaign I mentioned it to the advance when she was here today mm -hmm. that we can have a body of people looking for a Thanksgiving service about Peter and Paul because that is a parish that Kenny came through mm -hmm. and to see if we can have 10 30 one Sunday morning to have a service of Thanksgiving to the life and to those women who went through the journey on the colonialism to build the integrity of the black woman who have contributed to build the nation of Jamaica. Boy, you're so powerful, Mr. Frank Garvey sounds, man. I still, I, I, I can hear Marcus Garvey coming through his vein, his mouth, his lips, his speech, his words, everything is Mr. Garvey to the maximum. Mr. Macho, what do you have to say about the, 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 the feistiness, the, 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 the amount of um, vigor and, 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 and strength that, that he still pushes out? What are your thoughts? That, that is, this the is amazing. Essence. The essence of Mr. Garvey's philosophy run through your, your vein and the rallying cry of Mr. Garvey. Up you mighty race, yes, you yes. can accomplish what you yes, will. Yes. And this is the essence that Frank is still echoing at 91 <laughs> years. And he's looking forward to next year when he wants more to be accomplished. Exactly. No, it is hope that at the corner of Charles Street, and mm -hmm. Chancellor Lane, Lane. Mm -hmm. yes, that is where the UNA was founded. Before it actually went to Liberty Hall. Yes, yes. 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 The founding was then at that there was a, mm -hmm. there was a, uh, there was a, at that corner, on the northern side of the land, was the Chancellery to the old church. Mm -hmm. The old church in those days was Spanish. Mm -hmm. And so we had, if you look at those buildings, some of the cubes are still there, here on the island. That was where the, the priests would live. And so they were there to keep the community alive. Mm -hmm. And Garvey started with the star printers at the corner of Orange Street. And he started the Universal Grand Poets Association there. And so we want to do something that we can have some flowers, some meetings, and some rallying point that we can give hope to the new convert. As you mentioned that, you know what struck me? That Mr. Garvey started it, and he, his first secretary was Amy Ashwood, right. who became his first wife, Amy yeah. Ashwood Garvey. She's yeah. the one that helped him to set up the organization right. at, on yes. Charles Street. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, what I am looking forward to is 2014, the year after next, mm. when it becomes the centenary year of right. the founding of the UNIA. 100 years of the founding of the right. UNIA. Mm -hmm. And we know that you will be around of with course, us to, to, you celebrate. Have to, be with us to celebrate that. And as you mentioned, Charles Street, we are going to petition the mm -hmm. National Heritage Trust to make that site a national so heritage site. Right, right. Yes, that is where the whole... Charles Street and yes. Chancery Lane. Yes. 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 What number Charles Street was it? The London number, it's just a corner. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a, a corner. The block King Street, Charles Street, Aaron Street. So it was on the street, it was yeah. in a yard, it was just no, that there, area. There, there, well, the yard was there because mm -hmm. there was a print road there, you know. Mm -hmm. It's star print road. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mr. Garvey actually worked at that print road. Print road. Right. Yes, more from there because the man the print himself. Right, right. He right. started right. from St. Anne, come to town, mm -hmm. and went to go and print an office. So he was involved all his life. When he gets a free evening, he comes down to Taos, um sons. He come down to some street and you see there, there's another printing friend, stop them, take off him jackets and him brace and take up you know, this is involvement. <laughs> and so we want to set the stage early that we start to look at the UNIA, not as Negro, mm -hmm. but as Afro Caribbean people mm -hmm. seeing itself as a new development trust. Instead of what people say, you can't change the Negro, the word Negro. Why? Mm -hmm. We must have the spirit of dynamism to give hope to the emerging nation of black people all over the world. Mm -hmm. Nobody call them, the Chinese man, call them chink. Or you, you ask the Indian man, Makuli, 
you can ask, you can say, the man is an Indian. Yes. And just Chinese. Yeah, because in my research, uh, it has been uh, it has been known that Mr. Garvey didn't really use the word Negro that much. He used the word African. African Caribbean. Well, this if is you this. if you notice the full name of the organization, right. mm -hmm. the UNIA and ACL, and the, the Universal Negro, Negro Improvement yeah. Association, and, right. African Civil and the African Community League. Right. So right. he made a distinction that you had the Negro who need to be improved. Proved. Okay, yeah. he did. Okay. And then you have the African Communities League. Okay. Right. okay. Speaks of okay. understanding. Yes. And sharing. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we had. Um, in Arborview, 49 Southern, Southern Cross, Cross Drive. Yes. The resident of Mr. Frank Garden, out of distinction. And this is where he cools out on a normally on a Friday evening having fun. I'm here with racing matches as well. The lighting is getting a little bit bad, so we want to wrap this up for, for, for part one of this historical interview. But 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 in leaving though, what what, what are your final words, Mr. Matches, before we get to Mr. Garden to close up? Well, one of in my taking, in taking the movements forward for the year two, one of my sad moments is when stalwarts like Frank Garden has been forgotten by the establishment. Frank should be having teaching classes where he's teaching the youth in China and in India. This is what is happening. Mm -hmm. All this wealth of information does not sit so and, and, goes idle, to waste. Yes, and goes to waste. It is passed on to the next generations to come to inspire them and to lead them. And I think our country, having bestowed upon him the honor of OD, mm -hmm. should really see to it that the tradition, that mm -hmm. all that wealth of knowledge that he carries goes on to the and on to the next the generation. generation. Very well said. Uh, Mr. Garden, it is no use, sir. What are your, your thoughts now going into the year 2013? So the year 2013 is a continuum of the old question of deliverance. To give hope to the hopeless and goodwill to the generation that come, come the next generation. Because without life there's hope and without hope there's doubt. We must love one another, share the thought. Did I see Brother McVeigh come through the gate? McVeigh. McVeigh is here? Yes, Godfather. I was just, this is my brother, this is, I learned from his generation, mm. the earlier period of I learned some songs and some hope for the maker. Mm -hmm. Small is our island, Jamaica, but hard is our nation hard. And in the world of tomorrow, we shall play and no part. May thy child go before us, fighting the upward way. Sons of Jamaica must with courage onward from day to day. Jesus. Well, you brought tears, I'm telling you. Um, read that Patriotic. Was, that's, that was, that was something. Patriotic. That, was, that yes. song was sing when? When was the occasion that was, that? I, I learned it in 1930, after the 1930s. This is the anthem for the UNI, isn't it? No, is the, no, no, what, what is that song? No, 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 one second, one second. Tell me where that song comes from. In the struggle for independence, for self-government, mm -hmm. there was a man named Walter A. McBean. A. McBean. Okay. He had them, the poet, poet in those days, mm -hmm. and he put them out and gave it to the People's National Party to be able to use as a patriotic sound. So, okay. Workers of Jamaica, lift your voices strong today. Oh, workers of Jamaica, let united voices say, the time has come when we must decide to shout our right to claim for and white. Oh, workers of Jamaica, Unite, unite and fight. Workers are striving in Jamaica and abroad to end this policy of oppression 
and this policy of fraud, but justice, peace, we fight. We that might can never be right. That's a beautiful, so beautiful are, song. Yes. Might can never be right. You remember right. the you and I song? Yeah. You give me a little bit of the you and I song? You and I have plenty, you know. One, let's oh, give Africa, me one. Africa awake in the morning. Is give me that night. one. Oh, Africa awake. Oh, Africa awake in the morning is a time to love me, to forsake. In the bright and glorious land, from days of ancient glory, bring down the gods to heart, revive our ancient glory, and the dum 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 Africa awaken to hear the children talk. Oh, Africa away. To the lives of thine and the rest of traffic splendor, the land of God and earth. And then you have this hippopora for old Jamaica, yeah, land of sunshine and climate serene. Our charms are renowned to all the world, and the flags and the eels will soon unfurl. Soon you live for old Jamaica, land of traffic splendor. There are many songs that yes. have been thought us, you know, the, 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 it has been a wonderful experience sitting here with the Honorable Racing Matches and of course Mr. Frank Gordon, the Art of Distinction recipient. Um, I have to come back and visit with him because you know there's much more for a younger generation to have. And as Mr. Matches says, we need for the powers that be to make sure we cherish our heritage. We cherish the knowledge that is possessed by Mr. Frank Gordon so our next generation can carry on and teach the truth. You see, you, you have a lot of yari yari. A lot of yari yari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, here, you know, below, but they don't impart yeah. nothing. Thank you very much, Mr. Frank Garden. It's a, it's, it's a pleasure, sir, meeting here God. with you. I'm going to send a copy of this tape to Dr. Julius Garvey so that you can see what his old friend looked like. <laughs> you understand? And of still course, Mr. Ray to match the fire. Much. And of course, this is the man of the hour, the honorable, the art of distinction, Mr. Frank Garden. Thank you very, very, very much for 